Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with us to play Dark Quest XI S, Echoes of Elusive Age on the PC. Last time, we went back into the King's Barrow outside of the Emerald Coast, Emerald Coast here, and we dealt with uh, the Tweedle bit, the Tweedle Doofuses because, well, they're a pain in the ass. Let's just put it that way. And it's probably one of the only times where something like that ability to uh, block your desperate attacks would actually come in handy for the most part, because other than that. It probably wouldn't. So today we're going to go ahead and run around and do some stuff for Hendrick and um, I think Rab too. Because I think we're going to do this and then we're going to go to the Royal Library in the Sniffleheim area for some stuff there that we can grab. So let's go. And so we got a quest over here from this old geezer. You're a pretty tough customer, I can tell. I bet you've been in a, your fair share of battles over the years, haven't you? Well, if there's one thing I love, it's discussing mighty warriors and sharing tales of daring do. But it takes two to tangle, and mighty warriors are nothing without monsters across swords with. And it just so happens that I've heard of a beauty. <coughs> it's called Harmachus, and it rules over an army of Bilhas from atop the Hotel Step. I've been hearing terrific things about how tough it is, but I want to hear from someone with first-hand experience. Do we go and fight it? And we get Apollo's axe out of it. Okay, neato. You would, anyway, you wouldn't let me down? Uh, let's see... He lives on the Hoto Step, that's south of Mount Huji on some kind of high plateau, but he only shows himself to those who can prove themselves strong enough. You need to beat up a load of his Bilhah minions. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and take care of this for... just reasons. Okay, so... He's obviously going to be over there by the... The Hoto Step... Um, whale Station. Yeah, and... We have to run around until we encounter the guy, so who knows how long that's, that's going to be. Luckily, we have the serendipity items that we're going to put on Young Soul here in order to actually potentially encounter those. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, let's go this way. So yeah, with uh, Soul, we're going to put on... I think I think we need both of them, actually. So we want the Circle of Serendipity, and we also want the Wings of Serendipity. And that should make it a little easier for us to get the rare spawn. But at the same time, it's still going to be a pain in the ass to actually get the damn thing to show up. I think that's the... Not the one. I think this one right here is the one we need. Um, I don't know if it's this one or the other one, actually. If Okay, it's, it should be this one. This one has the... Uh, yeah, the Bilhawk. Okay, so I'm gonna see if we get this guy to show up on our first attempt. Probably not. And then after that, I'll do it off screen because it's gonna take forever to get this thing to show up. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, with the circle, the circle of serendipity thing and the serendipity wings, uh, they will help for finding the rare monsters, but you're still gonna be looking for a while. Yeah, okay. I'll be back in a little while. Alrighty, we got the hard markets to show up. Uh, this guy, he has a gold bar for his common steel, so that's pretty cool. And then a Apollo axe for his rare drop. So, basically the same thing we're going to be getting for the uh, quest reward here. So, not terribly worried about it. So, alright, uh, one thing to know with uh, Hendrick and his hurt converter. Uh, it, if you use a cut above, the one with multi multiple hits, he only gets the healing from the first hit. So... Yeah, you definitely want to use it with something like Double Edge Slash or Parallax. Uh, with Double Edge Slash, um, it's recovering like fucking 300 health or some shit like that, so it's pretty fucking good. So, let's go ahead and uh, see how much damage we can do here, because uh, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, if I can get you guys to sleep, that'd be fantastic. Okay, at least one of them's asleep, that's fine. It, it took me about 15 minutes to actually find this guy, so a little while, that's for sure. Defense down. Uh, here you take an oomph for Mr. Hendrick. Yeah. In the uh, 3DS version of Dragon Quest VIII that I've been playing, uh, they do have rare monsters. Uh, uh, doesn't seem like a whole lot of rare monsters, but uh, they have a couple for sure. And I like the way they handle it there. So, in that one, you running around and somebody will mention hey there's a rare monster out there uh, I mean you, you could probably know about them before that this usually they'll tell you hey there's a rare monster um, 
and you go ahead and what you have to do is you have to kill 30 of the lower tier of that monster. So like in the first area, if you kill 30 slimes, a special slime shows up. And then I think after that point, it's basically on the map for, well, for a while, actually. I don't know if it ever runs away, but I've seen it there for quite a little while. But you basically just have to kill 30 of the, the little dudes, and then they'll show up. Uh, whereas this one, they say you're supposed to kill a bunch of people to get them to show up. But at the same time, look at that. We got all our health back right there. Nice. But at the same time, um, I basically just snoozed these guys and ran away until I got this guy to show up. So I only killed like five or six of these guys before I gave up and said, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, snooze them and run away and hope the other guy shows up. They don't actually have to kill them for the red monsters here. It's just, uh, it's just some percentage for them to actually show up or not. And I'm not sure what that percentage is. Well, that was a uh, pretty good, yo. That was a uh, pretty champion. 1,100 damage and recover. We recover half of it. That's pretty fucking nice. That's real nice. Granted, I mean other characters will probably still do more damage, but this makes uh, Hendrick actually able to do a pretty damn good job there. Um, you know what? Let's see how much we do with Channel Anger, and then we're going to go ahead and Magic Versus this guy, because why not? Your defense went back down. You really have it out for a young soul there, huh? Veronica, you have the almost ability to die there. Fantastic. Uh, let's go Parallax. Yeah, I'm Even though his uh, defense will be back. Yeah. Still does plenty of damage. We're good. Uh, and let's go with that uh, magic burst. This might kill him. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Harmacus. We're gonna go get your axe easy, from easy. the guy in the uh, the guy in Helidor. Awesome. We beat Harmacus. Awesome. All right. Uh, before we go back to Helidor, though, let's get a level or two because I have Silvando, Jade, and Eric kept up in the back party from this various fights. And usually, if those that get kept up, I stick them in the back row so that way we can uh, get them pepped and use them for stuff. So, let's go ahead and, since we have a couple pet pops from running around and doing stuff, we're going to go ahead and transfer one of those to, uh, let's give it to Soul, just the one, there we go. And we're going to save up. So this, this is eventually going to be the strategy for getting up to the max level of the game here. Is what I'm going to show you right here. I mean, we'll go over it again later, just so we don't forget. But basically, either use pet pips or pet pops to get everyone into a second state of pep. So uh, let's go ahead and just fight these guys right here. Yeah, bye. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I'm not worried about you, Hendrick, at all. Uh, you, you're gonna... We're gonna switch in you, you, and you. There we go. And then, Hero is going to go ahead with his pep-up ability. There we go. Yeah, I don't care about your, your backup there, sir, because we're not gonna worry about your backup at all. Go away. I am busy. Alright, and so right off the bat, we're going to use Hallelujah. Because this right here, this gives you between two and three times experience, and it also guarantees rare drops, which we don't care about the rare drops, but uh, the the extra experience is what we care about. So Hendrick is, or not Hendrick, uh, Silvando is still pepped up. That's fine. Um, and before I forget, uh, no, you're good. I was going to say Hendrick. Make sure he has something there. And then, so what you want to do is you want to pep up the the members of Electrolyte 
which would be, let's see, I think Electrolyte is Hero, uh, Jade, and Silvando. So what you could do is just have them have Pep Pips instead of the Pep Pop that I'm going to use and get them back into Pep State here. And then after we do that, we go ahead and use up our Electrolyte here. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We use up our Electrolyte to summon in our new batch of enemies here. And we hope that they're the Metal Slimes. And then we go ahead and beat them for lots and lots of experience. So, come on, surprise me with something good. Yeah! Okay, so we got Vicious Metal King Slime and Vicious Liquid Metal Slimes. Awesome. Oh, they're all sticking around. Okay, one of them fled, that's fine. That's fine. However, Eric of the Critical Claim on the Vicious Metal King. Excuse me. Fucking fantastic. Nice. I think that guy gives like 75,000 by himself. Okay, uh, and then for you, instead of the Sacred Spear, we're going to go ahead with the... Uh... Where is it? Metal Slime. Where is your Metal King Spear? I have it somewhere, I just don't know where it's at. Um, that's really weird. I guess we'll just do the uh, Liquid Metal. I know I have a Metal King Spear, I just don't know where it's at. And then let's go ahead with multi feet. And there we go. Plenty of damage. Uh, Silvando, your equipment is probably fine. So let's see if we can get him. Okay, not quite. And then you, let's go ahead and put on your Metal King Great Sword there. And let's go with some Swords Dance. Oh, you're still alive. You have a lot more help than I was expecting uh, my little liquid metal vicious dude. I don't know the exact number of health he has, but uh, well, apparently more than I thought. That Eric, with his critical claim ability to just uh, instantly kill these guys, is fantastic. <clears throat> Three hundred and ninety-nine thousand seven hundred and thirteen experience. You could get a little bit more or a little bit less. I think this is mostly. Uh, I, I think we. I think we did get the Hallelujah that gave like three times because I think you can also get like between like two hundred or fifty or three hundred or like four hundred right here. And obviously, if the other little bastard hadn't ran away, we'd be getting even more. But yeah, that's gonna be the strategy. You use Hallelujah. You repep up. Uh, uh, Jade and Savando, and you go to town on these guys and hope they don't run away. Uh, I try. I like to do it right in this area right here because the save point's right there in case somebody decides, hey, we want the uh, metal monster. Yeah, we got four levels right there. Nice. Jade got uh, three levels. Fantastic. Savando got three levels. Awesome. Eric got uh, four levels. Awesome. Andrew got uh, three levels. Serena got... Three levels. Veronica got four levels. Rab got three levels. Nice. And uh, the good thing about the good thing about Hallelujah is they cause enemies to drop rare items. In the case of the vicious look, in the case of the uh, vicious metal king, he will always drop a pep pip. The uh, happy hats from the liquid metal right there. So yeah. Um, You'll always get that pet pip right there. Uh, now, depending on what level you are, different variations, uh, different combinations of those metal slimes will spawn. Uh, real fast, hang on, let me check. So at level 50, if you're in the level 50 range, it'll be three vicious metal slimes. At level 60, it'll be uh, one, uh, was it one or two? It'll be two vicious metal slimes, and then the liquid metal, and then from 70 on, it'll be the vicious metal king, and the two vicious uh, liquids. So, since we're level 70, yeah, we're going to be seeing those. We're going to be seeing that combination anytime Electrolyte actually goes through. So, yeah, good stuff. <coughs> and that's going to be, like again, our strategy for getting up to the final levels, which will be nice when we actually get to it. Let's get that crit chance right there. Yeah, good stuff. And we have enough for Giga Crash, finally. Nice. 
which I don't think we've used, or actually I don't think I, well, obviously we haven't used it because, you know, we just got it, but still, the point is, it's there, pep up, uh, power up for Eric's boomerangs, awesome, um, you could also go ahead and do something like, um, where is it, for Eric right here, yeah, you could also go ahead and grab the... The metal, yeah, the metal liquor, which we already got. Oh, this is just Ooze Boozer right here, isn't it? Or Starburst Throw. Okay. Yeah, I think this is based on his magical might for some reason or another. But yeah, you put on a couple, uh, you put on a couple metal boomerangs for Eric. You divide uh, before you actually do the pet power. And then instead of critical claiming, you, you uh, triple metal liquor in one turn and that'll probably do a fat chunk of damage to most of them it won't kill a lot of them but it'll help soften them up for multi-feed or whatever else right there so it's a pretty decent little way to go i think i'm scratching my leg ah, there we go veronica grab that uh pet power for you or the pep up power up for you there we go or pep up chance i'm sorry there we go, good stuff. And yeah, we don't care about those right away. So, Veronica's basically done. I mean, eventually we'll fill out her whip side just to fill it out, but yeah, it's basically done. Uh, yeah, you're not anything that I care about in that particular panel, are you? I don't think you're one of the uh, special ones. Yeah, Worm Whip, yeah, I don't think so. Oh well. well. I'm not terribly worried about Staff of Salvation or Zing Stick anyways, so... Uh, same thing with the uh, Hymn of Light. I'm not worried about that. Um, I do want to get to... I do want to get to the Swishel right there, because that would be a nice little ability for her. So let's just start working our way down there. There we go. The heal deal, I think I said. Nice. I uh, wasn't even paying attention to that pet power, but we'll check it out later. Cause we will yay, for 25. And then, yeah. And yeah, Serena's basically done with her stuff as well, sadly. Uh, we do want to get the, this right here, which I think was one of her pep up things. No, that's Doleful Dirge. That uh, makes it easier for spells to go through or something like that. Which, frankly, she has other stuff to do on her turns besides that, so I'm not terribly worried about it. So let's go ahead and get the uh, defense for Sylvando there, just to have it. Uh, sudden Death, I'm not terribly worried about that. Yeah, let's get Pink Pearl at since it's there. Why not? Ah, it's nice having everybody's skill trees maxed out here. Alright, uh, Jade. Uh, set a Sexy Beam. Let's grab uh, Lightning Storm real fast. There we go. Fantastic. Kazapple. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's why we can't learn Kazapple as a spell, because it's a pet power. Nice to know. Nice to know. I don't care about Party Pooper. Uh, or Vacuum Smash, really. Uh, that's not what I'm thinking about, it, is it? No, that's not what I'm thinking it is. Um, yeah, let's get Sexy Beam. Let's see how much we deal with... Uh, the power of sexy hotness. Probably a lot since, you know, she shakes her ass at him and it does like fucking stupid amounts of damage. What a way to go. Uh, Rab, you champ. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about getting Kazamo yet. Especially since it's so fucking expensive. Magical Mending, 30. Yes. Nice. And that wasn't something I cared about either. Hang on. Yeah, it's just a uh, strong claw ability, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. More magical mending, awesome. Let's go for multi heal being pimped out, fantastic. Oh, I think I said earlier in the act that um, Veronica get, gets a plus 100 boost to her magical might. No, I don't think she actually does. I think only Serena and Rab get the uh, the boosts. I mean, Veronica's magical might is still going to be ridiculous no matter how you look at it. 
But yeah, she doesn't get the little extra, the boost that uh, Serena and Rab do for some reason. Why she doesn't get it, I don't know, but whatever. Ishpathy, I'm not going to learn you because I don't care about you. So, goodbye. And Gear Falcon Slash. Yeah, there we go. Four ferocious attacks to put Gear Falcon Slash, or Falcon Slash, to shame. It can only be used with swords, so... If you're using Hendrick for all the damaging purposes that you want, uh, you'll probably want to go to start actually equipping him with uh, swords instead of um, <clears throat> axes. But I still like having one of each because axes will be good for groups and swords will be pretty good for single target. So, I mean, you'll still get plenty of damage out of like Parallax and you'll, you'll want Helm Splitter for getting the defense down and stuff like that. But also, Cure Falcon Slash and Double Edge Slash plus Hurt Converter will do plenty of damage there. And I think Blind Man Spiff is going to get pretty small when we get that all pipped out there. <coughs> we got a bunch of accolades. Fantastic. Not terribly worried. Uh, let's go back to the city there. Now, once we head into the castle and start doing the the hinder quest in there, I'm not going to be sure what's going on because uh, that's, again, that is S version exclusive, so I've never actually seen it, so who knows what's going on in there. Okay, he's just going to give us the axe that we could have got a rare steal off of from Harmachus. So you're back, and I can see that you have bested Harmachus in battle. How can I tell you, ask? Well, I can see the wounds you still bear, the horror in your eyes. He was no ordinary foe, I can see that much. Nor should he have been, for in truth, he was once a mighty general of the ruined realm of Zvardrus. But fate caught up with them when he faced the ruthless foe, who led him into a terrible trap from which he and his men could not free themselves, he fell into a state of utter despair at his defeat, and his body rose again to become the bitter, brutal Armachus. But by defeating him, I feel certain you have enabled him to find peace at last. He fought bravely. He rescued a mighty warrior from a living hell. Take this. There we go. Turns out the creature used to be a high-ranking general in the Zvardrusian army before meeting an untimely end. Ah, those poor Zvardrusian bastards, they did not have a good time once uh, Mordigan decided to just send all the monsters in the world after him. Okay, so it's just telling me the same stuff as a... Uh... It's truly an honor to have met a warrior mighty enough to have bested such a foe. I'll be boring my grandchildren with this little tale until my dying day. Awesome. Uh, sadly, I don't think the uh, the axe that we got there is actually going to be terribly necessary. It's the Climax versus the Apollo's Axe. 156 and a little bit of uh, HP. Yeah, so not really... I mean, it does fire and light damage when attacking, but that's not really anything we care about. 156 compared to... It's a little stronger than that. Okay. Um, and then... So it's a little stronger than what we got right now, but frankly, uh, I don't think it's terribly necessary. Especially since, uh, for, uh, I mean, yeah, we'll still be getting some damage in with Hendrick, but a lot of time he'll just be using Forbearance to save his own ass and everybody else's ass, pretty much. Alright, so... There's been a bit of a fuss at the castle of late. Folks keep seeing a weird shadowy thing floating about the place. It doesn't seem like it means any harm, but no one knows what it is, so people are a little uneasy, which is understandable, I suppose. I just heard that it appeared in the garden in the central courtyard, a mage screamed and ran for her life. What in the world could it be? Okay, so it looks like it's going to be out in... Yeah, off to the left right there. Uh, but... I want to see if... Oh, we still can't get in there. Um, yeah, let's go into Hendrick's room. Or, not Hendrick's. Uh, Jasper's room. I want to get in there. And... Actually, Jasper's room is downstairs, isn't it? But we want to go to Jasper's room, and I think that will have a item for us there. Uh, where is Jasper's room? I thought it was... Eh. Oh, I remember where it's at. Okay. Uh, but also... Yeah, it's down this way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 
Jasper's quarters and one of these books. Not you. No. Shield of Helidor. Go wait. Back. Shut up. Yay, dressed in the ad. Secrets of a heart. So I've waited much concerning the techniques by which a warrior might perfect his craft. These techniques are all as not if he be not sound of heart and mind. Come what may, a calm, clear spirit shall see thee through. Tis in ye heart the victory is won. And one of Dresden's teachings has been learned. So basically be a good guy and don't be a fuck up and you'll be powerful. Good stuff. Um, I want to go talk to the king real fast because there might be something we get there. Or we might have already got it and I forgot. I think he's supposed to give us like a tiara or something. But I think I might already have it and I'm not entirely sure. Ah, oh, you have returned. Tell me, what have you learned? The Dark One has returned. The people of our world are ignorant of this fiend, this Chalasmos, but ignorance will not protect them. No, if nothing is done, this evil will grow until it consumes us all. Only you can face Chalasmos. Only you can end this. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I think we already got it. It was like a... Some, or maybe not. One moment, if you would. Honored Luminary, will you permit me and my daughter a few minutes alone? You haven't seen her for like 16 years since you've been possessed, so yeah, go for it. Despite Mordigan's machinations, my subjects have remained content. My kingdom has remained free of undue suffering. Alas, you, my dear, were not so lucky. I cannot help but wonder how things might have been if I had remained by your side on that fateful day. Perhaps Mordigan would not have possessed me. Perhaps I would not have missed all those years with my beloved daughter. If only I had been better. Stronger. Perhaps I could have resisted him. You were meant to know only peace. To be the princess of a great kingdom, blissfully ignorant of the woes of the world. But no. Instead, you fought. But you have fought enough. It is time to come home. To claim your birthright. To live in peace and privilege here with me in Heliodor. Oh, Father. I wouldn't change any of it. I wouldn't change a single day. I've been traveling now for many years, searching for something, meaning, I suppose. And it's been hard, sometimes unbearably so. But it was worth it. I found what I was looking for in the end. You, Father. Rab, my friends. The people of Heliodor. All the people of Erdria, in fact. These are what give life meaning, and they need protecting. And I'll do whatever it takes to protect them. All of them. You do your kingdom and your father proud. I had thought to save this for the day you took the throne, but I see now that it is time. The tiara is very precious. <laughs> it once belonged to your mother. Thank you, Father. It's beautiful. Now go. Do what you must do. And when all is ended, and peace has returned, you must come home to us. To Heliodor. 
Of course. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, we got a uh, tiara. Let's check that out for Jade. I don't think I got this in the original version of the game, so I don't think I knew about it. Uh, let's see. Golden Tiara. A held headband that provides protection against all kinds of enchantments and incantations. So, 80% sleep, confusion, spell stealing, and instant death. Yeah, and it's for the ladies. Any lady. But uh, it's obviously going to go straight to Jade. So, yeah. Um, actually... It might not. Hang on, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because I lose all that charm. Ah, it's so good, though. It's really good, but at the same time, I like the charm for Jade's abilities, because her abilities actually scale for it. Scale, scale with it quite well. Uh, speaking of which, the Finger of Justice for Sabundo that we got, I think that actually scales off his strength. And I think it hard caps around, like, 700 damage. But it still is going to be one of his... Uh, Strongest single target abilities, or if not one of his, basically it is. Okay, here we go. Dark form hovers in the air under the tree. What is that thing? Seems very interested in that tree for some reason. I wonder what it wants. Wait a second. Is it just me or is that big root thing you wrapped around the tree glowing? I think you should take a closer look. Yay, more uh, Yggdrasil stuffy stuff. Me speak good. Why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always you who was given the golden opportunities? Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Why? Hmm? Tell me why! Well, no more. I will be second best no longer. You will outdo me no longer, Hendrik. This time, it is I who have been chosen, and you who will fade into obscurity. Huh? So, uh, what did we just see? Hmm. At the end uh -huh. there, that looked like the throne room in Heliodor. The place was a ruin. And that man Hendrik was doing battle with. Could it have been Jasper? I cannot say for certain. Yet I have seen that scene before. Somewhere. This shadow. Could it have something to do with the visions we just witnessed? Come, we must go after it. Am I imagining things where Jade not actually say all of her lines? I might I might just not have heard it because I try to keep the volume kind of low here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think we're going to end up in a one-on-one -on -one fight between Hendrik and... Uh, like Jasper's ghost here, but other than that, I'm not sure what else is going on with this particular series of events. The eerie black shadow just went into the dining hall. Ugh, seeing it is enough to turn my stomach. Hey, what's your little blue bubble say? Not that blast. Okay, so they've been seeing it around. That's right. That's right. They've been seeing it hanging around for a little while. Um, oh, you're scared. That thing just floated into the kitchen. I heard the rumors, but I'd never seen it for myself. When it went past me, a chill went right down my spine. It's not a ghost, is it? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Deal with it. We'll, we'll take care of it right now, don't you worry. Uh, is it going to turn the turkey cold? Uh, just headed through that door on the left towards the larder. Seems like, seems like hovered in front of the dresser in there. Not sure what it's after. But it hasn't attacked anyone, it doesn't make the milk go sour, so I suppose things could be worse. This Miggy Muggy here's got his tail in a right old twist about something. Came flying out the larder a minute ago and has been staring at the door and growling ever since. 
I didn't see it myself, but I reckon it must be that black shadow thing everyone's been on about. It must have been slipped in there while we weren't looking. Oh, the cat's all... Huh, the cat's staring at the door growling. Nice. I, they could have made a fluffy, like just a giant fluff ball, and that'd be hilarious. It's gone. Something gave me the sense I was looking at the dresser. Of course, this is the dresser behind which lies the passage to the king's chambers. Only two people besides the king have ever known of its existence. I am one, and Jasper was the other. When we were boys, we would often get up to no good. We hatched a plan to sneak into the king's chambers, but he discovered it and reprimanded us severely. Truly, those were happy times. Jasper and I made a solemn vow that we protect this kingdom together, and I truly believe that we would. No matter, we are here now, and that shade must have led us here for a reason. It's trying to tell me something. We must go into Jasper's old room. There's something I need to see. I can't we just like uh go through this too? Yeah, let's move this. Uh, we'll go to Jasper's room in a minute, but I want to see. Ah, dang it! I was gonna see if there was anything in the king's room for us to grab because there probably is. Oh well. See, I didn't realize we had to go to Jasper's room for this part. Otherwise, I would have saved uh, getting the book until we went in there. Uh, my duty as a guard is to chase off any intruders. This is beyond my pay grade. <laughs> Uh, seems it seems at home in there. The entries are written. Entries are written in a neat hand. It is a month now since Hendrick returned from his training at Port of Valor. In that short time, he has grown tall, and his bearing is now very much that of a knight. I asked that he spark with me, but I was no match for him. No longer is he merely physical, physically stronger. His sword skills have been honed to an extraordinary degree. But it was not his blows that hurt me most. No, it was the way he reached out his hand with a smile to help me up after we, after he knocked me to the ground, just as he did one of your children. While he was training, I was not idle. I threw myself into my studies, devour devouring tome after tome of military strategy. But it's never enough. Yet again, he has surpassed me. We vowed to serve and protect this kingdom together. Perhaps, perhaps he has forgotten this. Or does he view it as a childish promise, best consigned to the past, with his memories of all we shared? But I have not forgotten. I still imagine us fighting alongside the king to defend the honor of Helidor. I will not let that dream die. I will do all that I can to make it a reality. So this is Jasper's journal. He writes what his pride would never allow him to say. I must confess, I had no idea this was how he felt. I see now that the darkness that consumed his heart had begun to gather much sooner than I cared to realize. See now how my actions must have hurt him. If I'm not mistaken, the apparition will appear next in the banqueting hall. Okay. I mean, you say that Hendrick had all the opportunities, but he also had a pretty damn rotten look of it, you know, with the uh, whole uh, kingdom being burnt down and all that other stuff. So he's just working to make sure it doesn't happen here, pretty much. How is this the banquet hall and not like the entrance hall? Isn't the banquet hall like upstairs? It has been years now since that fateful day when the darkness first descended and tragedy befell Dundrasil, your home. Jasper and I stood together at the head of the force that succeeded in driving back the monsters and escorting King Carnelian to safety. Little did we know that the man we strove so hard to protect had already been possessed by the fiend Mordigan. Upon our return, His Majesty made me a general for my deeds that day. But I did not rescue him alone. Without Jasper's bravery, all would have been lost. I urged the King to recognize my old friend's valor, but he paid me no heed. Jasper was not rewarded for his bravery. He was ignored, ostracized. This must have been Mordigan's plan all along. To wound Jasper, let the darkness fester in his heart, then use that resentment for his own ends. Why could I not see what my master had become? And why was I so blind to the darkness consuming Jasper's soul? Ah. 
It is you. Come. We must see where it leads us next. I sense it has something important to tell us. And this is a nice little bit of backstory added to Hendrik and Jasper in the uh, S version of the game, because, yeah, it wasn't there in the, uh, the original. I like it so far. It might be a bit uh, drawn out in some places here, but I'm enjoying it. He's okay, he's just on the other side right there. It's a goo. Oh, excuse me. Bless me. You okay there, uh, Mr. The sinister apparition that has been haunting the castle seems to have taken a position on the balcony through, through the main doors. There is something mournful in that inky black figure. Something that speaks to my muse. Perhaps I shall pen a melancholy ballad once this is all over. Oh, he's not scared. He's just, uh, inspired. I wonder if that sparkly spot's... Yeah, okay. I'm just curious if that one's going to show up down here. I was trying to grab the sparkly spot, Jasper. Grab the bastard. This is a nice little view out here. We sparred here back when we were young. Jasper, show yourself. They say those the monsters take before they finish their business in this life come back as bitter black spirits. Looks like that's what we're dealing with here. It's Jasper like as not. Why? Why did this happen to me? Why? <gasps> I'm sensing a horrible, ugly hatred. Careful, everyone. I don't usually make it my business to fight vengeful spirits, but something tells me we don't have much choice. Let's do this. This is not your fight. I must face him alone. Hendrik, that's not the man you knew. It's nothing more than the darkness he left behind him. A darkness I helped create. A darkness I must destroy. Alone. Let us bring this to an end. Come, Jasper! It is time at last. Alright, yeah, we gotta fight Jasper by ourselves. Let's go. Hendrik, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Jasper, I must put an end to your suffering, once and for all. Strength is Good block, good block. Uh, let's go ahead with the Hurt Converter. Do and we're just going to go ahead with the... Uh, probably... Uh, let's see. Let's try... Parallax. Actually, I should probably get his defense down. Yeah. 900. That's kind of ridiculous. We got pepped up. Fantastic. 
Uh, how is Double Edge Slash gonna do? Obviously, you gotta get extra damage. 1065. Looks like it might do about the same damage as Parallax there. Which I don't know, okay. And he's back into his boss form there. Uh, uh, Scrap metal, so defense down. Yeah, perfect. Nice. <laughs> and we're getting plenty of. Uh, actually, let's try parallax now that we have the uh, defense down and the pet. No, looks like a looks like a cut above might actually do slightly deeper. <laughs> Not a cut above the other one. Uh, might actually do slightly more here. Uh, let's see. Let's go with. Yeah, our defense went back down. Um, double up again. Yeah, with a double up and hurt converter strategy, you do gotta you do gotta take a little bit of time to set it up. But once you do, it seems to work out pretty damn good here. Like we're not dying in the slightest. Let's see here. Uh, double edge slash. Uh, Except for the part where I killed myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, not not quite what I meant to do. Not over. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, this time, um, not kill ourselves right there. We were doing good, but I didn't realize how much damage I was about to... I was about to do to him. Just right, let's start we must put an end to your this time just to once get the defense down. Just start. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's uh double up and then her converter. Yeah, we were doing real good until I said to myself, if I'd used parallax we would have been fine, but the uh extra damage that I did to myself. Yeah, I think I was thinking that the uh the heal would take place basically simultaneously to the damage, but you take the damage and then you heal. So, victory yeah. is all the ah! Yeah, we still recovered up to full health right there. That was fucking ridiculous in a fantastic way. Yeah, it looks like uh, the cut above actually does do or double edge slash. It does actually do slightly more damage than the parallax there. So. To think. That you have fallen. I think his so defense went back to normal, so we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> I can't tell, but I think it did. Okay, uh, scrap metal. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now it's back. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's go ahead real fast, and I'm gonna re. Eh, no, we're fine. I was gonna say let's go ahead and redo this stuff, but uh, we'll survive. Um, yeah, with the cut above, we're only going to do the, uh, the damage from that, the healing from that first hit, so... Yeah, see, we got that little bit of healing from that first hit right there, so... Even though it'll do plenty of damage... Wait, was that the end of the fight, pretty much? I think it might have been. Jasper, or at least very close. Can you hear me? When was it that our paths diverged? Were we truly once... Allies. Ah! Ah! Ooh, Jasper's My not voice having a good time here. No longer reaches him. If I am partially to blame for your pain, then it is also my duty to end it. Hang Drake. Your time has come! Jasper, ah! forgive me. I don't think we got the uh, defense down right there, did we? Damn. Uh, not quite. Ah, there we go. There we go. I do like the way this is playing out. It's a nice little... So a nice little continuation of the Hendrick and Jasper story. Uh, how, do I have anything that is even close in power, single sword-wise, to... No, not quite. Um... The axe... 
This is close with a supernova sword. I want to I want to try out uh, Gear Falcon Slash. And see how this Your does. Your pain ends now. Okay, that does plenty of damage. Nice. But again, I think that might be only healing when I first hit. Again, you surpass me. Again, you outdo me. Again, you you leave me behind. The more you bathed in glory, the more brightly you shone, the more I receded into shadow. Do you know what it was that I always wanted? I wanted to be like you. Jasper, you speak of surpassing me, but in truth it was I who always followed in your wake. I was robbed of my home, my family. I was alone. You were the one who spurred me on in their place, the light that guided me. <laughs> <laughs> you are the same sentimental fool as ever, I see. You do remember that I betrayed you. How could I forget? I am indeed a fool. But not for that. For not seeing before it was too late. If I had spoken to you, if I had listened, perhaps I could have saved you. You knew. You always knew. We were born two very different souls. It was that difference that brought us together. As your light grew brighter, mine could only blacken in response. And before I knew it, I felt more kinship with the denizens of the dark you battled so righteously than I did with my own kind. The lure of evil grew. And before I knew it, I had passed the point of no return. I saw then what Mordigan saw. The beauty in the blackness. Shed no tears for me. I seek no sympathy. All I ask is that you answer one question. Do you still... Do you still consider me your comrade and companion? Always, friend. How long I have waited to hear those words. Do you remember the pact we made as boys? Come. It is time we made good on our promise. The two-headed eagle cannot fly with just one wing. From this day forth, my spirit shall stand alongside yours. We will never be apart again. <laughs> oh. That's one heck of a suit of armor. But then those two always were quite the combination. 
<sighs> Forgive my self-indulgence. But know that I have not forgotten my pledge. I shall be... No. We shall be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companions. My oldest friend and I, together. Though it was long in coming, far too long. We are united at last. Yo, new armor for Hendrik. Do we get the sword too? I want the sword too because that's a pretty awesome uh, Hendrik twin eagle armor. Ooh, that looks nice. I like the black and white cape. Amazing armor forged and the fires of unfailing fellowship that can counteract curses and banish beguilement. 25% beguilement protection. Nice. Oh, we can't upgrade it though. That's a shame. Why can't we upgrade it? Oh, that's so nice though. It's Jasper's sword. From its problem hangs the token of fealty, glinting in the light. Oh, I was really hoping we could get a sword too and it'd be like a... It'd be like a Hendrick exclusive, S exclusive sword. That'd be real awesome, but uh, at the very least, I like the I like the armor. I don't know if it's slightly better than what we currently have. Let me see here. Um, yeah, it's slightly better than the Metal King armor. No, oh, okay. Um, not not as good defense wise, like at all, but. We also get the Beguilement Curse and other stuff, so I might hold on to that for a little while. Let me see. Um, we also have the... What did I do with that Legendary Armor? Oh, he still has that. Also, what? Oh, wait, hang on. Liquid Metal Spear. Metal Slime Spear. Oh, why the fuck does... Oh, you have it in your fucking item thing. I was gonna say, I know I had that damn thing. Why did I not have the ability to equip it? Because for some reason, she has this from when I accidentally, uh, did the auto equip. What is a sacred circle? No, we. Um. I'm really confused here why Serena has such. Weird uh, stuff right now. Sacred circlet. Yeah, you're supposed to have that on. Why do you have... <sighs> oh well. We do the way. That was pretty good. We got some more stuff for Hendrick in the form of new armor, new store developments, and we got some leveling. We got some more of the, uh, the books. Next episode, I th I'm not entirely sure where we're going to go, but we're going to go somewhere and get more stuff done. So guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Hendrick looking awesome in his uh, shiny new armor here. If I can never get back to the page. Ah, look at that. Nice, nice gold version of his uh, other armor, pretty much. Actually, I think it... Uh, let me see if I, if I go back to... Yeah, gold and then the uh, the cape looks different. It's, no, it's plenty different. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, uh, oh, you have a supernova sword. I was like, why does your sword look so awesome? Because it's basically the second best sword in the game. All right, either way. See you guys later.